Yo, what's good with you on today's video? I got the I tried to make a uh, the worst optimized Roblox game, pretty much just making like the lowest performance game possible and stuff, just making it so like you get into the game and obviously you don't instantly get kicked out because that would just be too boring. I'm trying to make it so that the game slowly lags itself through like a mix of different operations and stuff using scripting only though. I don't plan to like make a whole bunch of just like import a whole bunch of parts and stuff. No, I plan to do it all through like scripting and stuff like that so yeah if you guys enjoy videos like this definitely leave like subscribe and yeah let's go ahead and get straight into it all right guys so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm doing what i've done so far and stuff so i so i actually chat gpt for some help it's like and honestly i couldn't think of any ideas so then i so then chat gpt helped me realize I could do a mix of different operations and stuff. So obviously we're gonna have some things that affect the server side as well as affect the client side. So we're like pretty much combining stuff. We're gonna have multiple different things going on at the same time to create a lot of stress on the server as well as the client. So at the moment right now on the client side, I'll explain what I got going on. So every time a player takes a step or um, step, jump, whatever, any type of input and stuff like that, a part is created and stuff then um whenever the run service is um i don't know how to put it like because it's not really fired but whenever the run service pretty much whenever the run service is triggered and stuff right on a on every heartbeat it's going to fire the remote event to the server side which is then going to fire the, the remote event back to the client so it's just a whole bunch of so just remote event it's just one remote event being fired a lot of times in a short amount of time and then we have a while to do loop with screens ui it's pretty much just resizing the ui and stuff every second and everything then i have it so i have unnecessary printing every time the floor is touched it'll print as well as i have a table and stuff where it's inserting random random uh, gigantic numbers into it and stuff like that so at the moment as you can see it's a lot of stuff going on but like i can walk around you can see i'm clearly not experiencing any type of lag at the moment unfortunately this is like the one time you actually want to experience lag if i enable performance stats surprisingly the performance is holding up well but i guess it makes sense it's like roblox it would take a lot more for roblox servers to you know i've noticed a lot of the memory is high so i'm doing something right the memory is high but like ping is relatively amazing because this is as you can see it's literally it's literally under the target ping and stuff so yeah i will come back to you guys once i've um figured out how, how I can make it so that the ping is even higher and even if I could increase the memory some more to so just make it so that it's just an extremely laggy experience so yeah I'll be back soon all right guys so we are back and stuff so I'm gonna give you guys an update and stuff so I'm not gonna lie this challenge is a lot harder than I originally thought it was gonna be I did not know it takes so much to make like a whole bunch of lag because i don't want to make this video boring with just a two minute video of just me just making a one while loop and then bam server crashes that's the end of the video no i wanted to you know really try with this so let me show you everything i got and stuff like that so i have it so like i said you know where you walk and stuff you create parts i i've created like this infinite remote event loop so pretty much um let me, where is it um here so pretty much upon the player joining it's going to fire the remote event to the client um once it's received here it'll fire it back to the server so it'll pretty much go on this and then once it's received on the server it'll fire it'll fire back and stuff so it's just like just this continuous it's pretty much like this continuous loop of just um remote event being fired from server to client client to server etc i made it so that the ui and stuff it's now it's now like tweened rather than like the sizing is just changed the reason for that is oh actually i just realized it's not actually changing but i'll, I'll fix that in a second anyway um the reason for that is so that um, I was doing some reading and I found out that animating stuff actually causes like mm, like it's it requires more resources and stuff. But you guys see this memory is kind of getting a little better, like or getting worse. But that's what I'm trying to do and stuff. Right. Um, but ping is still the same. Like I got all this smoke and particle effect. I got pathfinding going on. Like I literally have them walking back and forth. And even then I'm still like, damn, I still cannot like, you know, make it really laggy. And then I got like this background stuff, the server doing like random calculations and stuff in the background. But yeah, so kind of struggling. Um, I'm going to look up some more methods on how to create pretty much how to unoptimize a game i'm gonna look up some more stuff that i want to avoid just throwing a whole bunch of parts in and calling it a day but yeah so i will see you guys in the next update okay guys i have done it so i actually it kind of occurred to me i was i'm not gonna lie i was having kind of a slow moment i realized the reason why it wasn't causing excessive lag first and foremost obviously i'm testing this in studio so it's like a testing server is a little different than like actual gameplays not only that 
I am by myself. There's like, you guys know, especially that's why games have caps on them and stuff. Like, if you go play a Battlegrounds game, you'll most of them have like a cap of like 20 to 30 players. You would never walk, you would never find a Battlegrounds game that has like a cap of like 50 to 100 people on server because more than likely all those attacks running at the same time would cause the server to crash. So, yeah, so I realized when I click when I click play and I'm by myself, right? You notice my ping, it's it's very, it's honestly very low. It would jump to like a hundred and stuff rare times where like if the particles, yeah, like this, if I get close to the particles, it'll jump up to like close to 100 to even over 100 and stuff. Memory is still 1200 and everything. So I'm getting a low lag if you can't really tell, but nothing for real. However, if I load up a test server and keep in mind, this is only with eight people. So like imagine like a real like you know server with like 20 to 30 players and this is still in studio and stuff now i'm not totally sure if like the test test servers are like equivalent to real servers but still it just i just know it'd be wild you guys are about to see the major difference and stuff once this loads up you're about to see the major difference in performance and stuff because i was like oh so i did figure it out and stuff so once this loads because keep in mind it's making like eight different Play. there we go okay so everything is loading slowly and everything i want to open the menu so i'm able to walk around and everything let me find performance okay so i am able to walk around as you can see my ping it's actually better than it was before my ping is better but my memory is worse you guys can see up to oh i thought it said 19,000. i cannot read okay so i'm at 1900 for memory cpu is up to 100 ping is at 3000 and stuff i'm pretty sure you guys can see like in the background and stuff for the ui that like it is very laggy moving around and stuff so i pretty much completed the challenge and stuff i'll break down everything i did and stuff even though i kind of already walked you guys through it but yeah so let's return back to our place as you guys can see a whole bunch of stuff so i'm cleaning up so uh, i was able to achieve this by using four scripts uh, a screen ui with a few text labels and a remote event and some parts as well as a model and stuff so explaining all of this just for the people who are um interested in knowing like how everything is working exactly give a full explanation so this using the user input service detecting input so pretty much whenever i'm pressing wasd moving around or just pressing any keys on my keyboard it would create a part a decently sized part and stuff and it's anchored can collide so it wouldn't fall and be destroyed so it would create a whole bunch of parts in the workspace um then using the run service i would make it i would i what or the I used a combination of run service as well as remote events to make an infinite remote event loop. So pretty much it was firing the remote event from client to server, server to client. If you don't know, firing too many remote events at once or just generally firing a remote event at one time is not good for performance. It, um, I believe the, the way to word it is like it has detrimental performance on the network. I think that's the best way to put it, but yeah. And then we go down here, we have the UI, which has just, I think it's like six or damn i can't read or count okay oh no no, no it is okay yeah, yeah so it's like nine so it has like nine text labels so i used a while true to loop to pretty much just animate it so it was just animating it uh changing its size and stuff to just random sizes and stuff um and then we go to our server scripts this is the main server script these two are just oh i didn't mean to close that out these two are just like small ones so this was just du simply duplicating the floor it was just making uh copies of the floor multiple times then this one was um insert it was just choosing a random like gigantic number and adding it to the table every 0.1 of a second and stuff um and then let's see what was the next thing oh so we go down here every time the every time the floor was touched this was a this was a light one but every time the floor was touched um it was it was printing and stuff believe it or not actually you can't really uh cause performance issues if you actually did like set up a function to really get repeatedly prints and stuff printing does not have that big of an effect on performance but if you did it enough you could actually cause performance to drop then i just had the character added function so pretty much whenever uh player's characters loaded in it would throw in this particle as well as some smoke and stuff if you don't know um if you have any type of smoke particle effects right and if you like zoom in you'll notice my ping or maybe not but the point is usually when you have particles if you like zoom in and get close to them and stuff it causes a big spike in uh, in your ping and stuff like that 
I don't know if you guys saw, but it just jumped up for a second and stuff, right? I didn't want to make it too big. I didn't want to make the particles too big because I didn't want it to be solely. I didn't want it to be like, okay, big particles, that's the end. Like, no, I wanted to use a combination of different uh, thing, different methods to cause the player to lag, the server to have bad performance, and yeah. Then I, lastly, I used the pathfinding service and stuff uh, with the help of ChatGPT because in all honesty, I'd be forgetting, I'd be forgetting all this stuff with the agent and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So... Yeah, so I pretty much just made it so that it iterated a hundred times. It was just um re it was literally recalculating the path for no literally no reason at all, and then um it was just calculating it from this part to this part, so from there to here and so that's why like that's why when I click run, you'll notice the Gojo is going from that part to that part to that part to that part, and yeah, um, and then yeah, that's really it and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I pretty much just made a laggy thing and stuff like that. If you enjoyed this type of video, definitely let me know in the comments. I will continue more challenges and stuff like that. Just uh, leave ideas, actually. If you have any ideas and stuff, if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave like, subscribe, and hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.